Hi, this is Bill Hintz from E&M. What I'd like to talk about today is the Siemens Selectivity Module. It's kind of a neat module that's an add-on for a power supply that allows us to use what we're seeing a lot more often of these days, and that are uh, UPS type power supplies, a single large power supply, and then um, on a large machine. So what happens is the UPS can mask a lot of problems with the incoming power, but um, once it goes out of there, oftentimes we have trip points that are set fairly high since it is a single out output. And using multiple UPSs can be very expensive. So what we can use is this selectivity module, which divides up the power output of the power supply into four separate legs. So we can differentiate PLC, HMI, and sensors and so forth. They actually can be a lot more likely to fault than a PLC. I'm going to show you a video here. And what this video shows is a machine that has um, a fairly large um, conveyor system on it. And uh, at the same time, it's got the selectivity module in, in a power cabinet that um, can, is connected up to four separate um, branches of loads. So actually here we see a power supply with a UPS system. And then there's the guy, the selectivity module has the power coming in at the bottom there and then four legs coming out at the top. It gives us quite a few different features in that um, you can see the green lights showing status on the four legs and then the pots down below allow us to adjust in the power levels for the trips. Um, at the same time, we actually can do things like sequentially starting up loads. So it, it's, it's kind of nice that when the machine powers up, rather than having this huge inrush current, it can actually power up seg um, sequentially those four segments. Let's take a look at a scenario where we have a short circuit on an individual leg on the module. And so here we see a short circuit on this device down below. We see a red light come on on the selectivity module, but the other three legs still have the green lights on them, signifying that their power is still available and it's actually going to be going out and keeping the rest of the machine in its diagnostics up and running. The diagnostics are helpful in that now we can actually see where the fault happened and actually bring the machine back up much more quickly and save ourselves lots of money on downtime. We can also, once we've repaired the fault, we can reset the module remotely. So that yellow button there is being a reset button. And once the short is gone, we push the button. Another thing that happens is oftentimes in long supply lines, there's a resistance on those wires. So it actually masks a short circuit on a remote enclosure. So what happens there is a large power supply would just continue to supply power out there and we can get into this uh, bad slow burn smoky situation which nobody appreciates. Um, this, this way with the selectivity module we can dial in the actual acceptable loads to a much finer degree so we can shut down when um, that, that short circuit happens and then once it's fixed we reset it on a HMI panel and up and off we go again running. Another um, example might be we're powering a, a DC motor and a DC motor might be out there running just fine, but then we have a bearing go out. So it's not really a short circuit. The current goes up a little bit, but it's not going to uh, trip a typical um, large power supplies um, feeder circuit. So in this case, since we're dialed in on what the current over tripping should be a lot more finely, uh, we can shut down when the bearing fails and not let the motor destroy itself with uh, the power continuing to flow into it. Another um, nice feature of this module is actually those buttons down below the lights allow us to individually turn on and off the, the legs on those uh, circuits. So we might on during startup push uh, one at a time and just power things up once and uh, just see how they're doing before we turn on another leg. We can also shut down a single leg for uh, diagnostics and, and repair. And what that does when we push the button locally, it actually disables the remote reset. So that's a nice safety feature. Anyway, that's the diagnostic um, capabilities of the selectivity module. We'd love to come out and show it to you. We've got lots of examples of where this has saved a lot of money. So give us a call. We'll be glad to come out and talk to you. Thanks.